Tasha, tell us where we're going today. To the flower market. It's mission recreate the bouquet. We got married three weeks ago and now we're back in Los Angeles and we're gonna take photos tomorrow with the dog, which means today we have to go to the flower market and try to recreate the bouquet. Do you think we'll be able to find most of the flowers here? I don't know. Well, if it's close, it's close. Yeah. Photoshop the rest. You gotta go early because all these crazy flower nuts are gonna go steal everything I mean, we need. To be honest, we're probably already too late. Here's what I know Tasha's gonna wanna do because Tasha knows where every good donut is. I know Tasha's gonna wanna go get a donut at the flower place. <laughs> Were you thinking about that? Yeah. <laughs> Made it to the flower mart. So we're having good luck right away finding some of the flowers. Do you know what these ones are called that I'm holding? I have no clue. We're really just showing images of what we have and trying to replicate it. Before we spent $37. Can I actually see the purple ones I pulled out already? Big bag. 81 for 36 roses. It's actually yeah. probably a good, good price. It's getting heavy. Lots of stuff here. Are those roses? Yeah. You good? Yeah, you cooked this? My guess, we're at about 160 bucks. You think the wedding costs a lot of money. It doesn't end. All right, we got them all. How much did this cost? Should we break it down after? I didn't get a receipt from Rose's guy. All right, we stopped getting receipts. <laughs> That's how you know it's bad when you stop tallying the price. That was way easier and more expensive than I thought. Well, it was definitely expensive, but that's just because we had a lot of variety of flowers to get. What did we spend rough, roughly? I don't know. 200? Probably. Or 200 bucks. You were quoted at about 150 bucks for someone to replicate the bouquet that you already have. Yeah. We probably can make but six actually, of those with the flowers we have. Yeah. At least, maybe 10. I would say four. So when I got my suit made at Indochino, they kind of messed up the vest. So they, they were like, you know what? We're just gonna make a whole new vest for you. So Tasha was like, can we keep the vest? And they were like, yeah, keep the old vest. So of course we kept the old vest. And then I took it to the tailors so it could fit Boone. Wait. I'm having your old vest tailored to fit Boone. So Tasha took it to the same tailor that she went to to get her dress last minute fitted and they did a good job. So the good boy fits his, I mean, about as good as you could do considering you had to pin it up on him when he was, like Boone's yeah. old, he wouldn't even stand up. I actually, um, like after I got the, fin the completed vest back, I still I put a couple safety pins in it. Um, but yeah, I mean, I was just, yeah, the dog would barely stand up and I'm trying to pin this wiggly dog. That He's laying down. Up. Yeah, it was a mess. So I, if I could do it again, I would change the neckline to fit his thick neck. But yeah, um, I mean, he's a odd shaped dog. He's got dwarf legs, a long body, the barrel of a 200 pound dog <laughs> and ears that hit the ground. There's no, there's no getting it perfect, but you did a very good job. Thank you. Yeah, I think it'll look cute in photos and that's all. All right. Does the dog get a boutonniere? Well, we have spare flowers, so I think so. The next step, would you say, is to get these puppies in water? Yeah. Finished with the bouquet. I think it looks pretty good. The beach cruiser. We have everything we need except the photographer, Tina. We're gonna go meet her down at the water. Oh this costs more than my suit by the time it was said and done. <laughs>
shoot was awesome. Unbelievable. Had so much fun with the dog.